Your doctor has recommended that you undergo gastric bypass surgery, but what does that actually mean? Gastric bypass is a surgical procedure used to help a patient lose weight. It is usually recommended to help those who are morbidly obese, meaning that their weight problem has become a serious health risk. Most severely overweight patients overeat. Food enters the body through the mouth, travels down the esophagus, where it collects in the stomach. From there, digestive food passes into the small intestine. Nutrients taken from the food pass from the small intestine into the bloodstream. Waste travels to the colon and leaves the body through the anus. The amount of food that a person eats is partly controlled by appetite. The stomach plays an important role in controlling appetite. When the stomach is empty, a person feels the urge to eat. When the stomach is full, that urge goes away. Gastric bypass dramatically reduces the size of the stomach. With a smaller stomach, the patient is physically unable to eat large amounts of food. Gastric bypass also shortens the small intestine so that the body absorbs less of the food eaten. With less food entering the body, fat stores begin to be used. The patient loses weight. For you. On the day of your operation, you will be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. You will then be transferred to the operating table. In the operating room, the anesthesiologist will begin to administer anesthesia, probably general anesthesia, by injection and inhalation mask. The surgeon will then apply an antiseptic solution to the skin and place a sterile drape around the operative site. After you are asleep, the surgical team will make a vertical incision down the middle of your abdomen. They will gently pull back the skin to expose the connective tissue beneath. Your doctor will then divide this tissue and the underlying muscle tissue to expose the abdominal cavity. Your doctor will gently lift the liver up and to the side to reveal the stomach. Your doctor will then cut the upper portion of the stomach from the rest of the organ. This upper portion forms a small pouch which is sealed with a stapling tool. The opening in the larger portion of the stomach is closed with staples. The next step is to divide the small intestine. The main part of the intestine is pulled upward behind the colon and positioned near the small upper stomach pouch. The other free end of the intestine is surgically stitched to the side of the intestinal loop. The other end is now attached to the small stomach pouch. A new route for food passing from the esophagus into the intestines has now been created. Finally, your doctor will check to make sure that all the new connections are secure and that there are no leaks. The liver and other organs are placed in their proper positions. A drain is put in place to remove any excess fluids. Then the team closes the surgical field by joining the muscles with sutures. Then the connective tissues are closed. The skin is sutured together and the incision is closed. Finally, a sterile dressing is applied.